it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Samuel Smith's and it's a bottle of their pure brewed organic lager coming in at 5% ABV. There's a look at the label. Lots of information if you want to pause the video and give that a read. There you go. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. 5% ABV in a 50, 550 milliliter bottle. I'm looking forward to this, to be honest. I've had some, whoa. Now, some of you, the older guys who may be watching this, can you remember Ark? I picked this up in, in, a, in a cheap kind of pound shop in the UK, only because I remember this, before I was a real beer connoisseur, way before that, when I was in my 20s, you had this company that brought out um, a lager brand where they kind of filled the glass with some ice, this particular glass, filled it with some ice, and then it kind of spun round on a plate, on this, this, this weird plate, and, and the beer was pouring into the glass at the same time while it was being spun round. Really weird concept. It never really took off. It never really worked. Um, but yeah, it, it was a weird thing. And I seen it in a, in a, in a shop and I thought to myself, I'm going to pick up this glass um, and, and kind of just save it to, to remind me of my 20s. Um, let's get the rest of the beer in the... In the glass. The beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK, with literally thousands of beers from all over the world. If you're a fan of beer or trying new beers from around the world, then that is the site for you, beersofeurope.co.uk. Check out the link in the description box of the video for their website. Go and take a peek after this review. But yeah, let's get on with it then, shall we? So we've got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. It's a slight bit of haze in there. It looks, it, it's definitely not, it's definitely not been produced by a huge, huge company. You know, like your, your Fosters or your or your Carlin or your, your Carlsberg. It's got a bit of haze there. I quite like the look of that, to be honest. I'm looking forward to reviewing this beer because... Um, Samuel Smith is a very interesting brewery. They're, they're quite a secretive brewery, uh, Samuel Smiths. Um, I've heard all sorts of kind of stuff about them. Some people actually call them the vampire brewery. Um, they kind of brew at night. It's it's a weird. I don't know. I've never been there, but I've heard some funny stories. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'll get bundled in the back of a van after saying that, but I've heard all sorts of different kind of stuff about Samuel Smith. Of course, the brother of John Smith, so it's a very... Remember John Smith's bitter? Good God. Do they still make that stuff? Um, yeah, John Smith's brother, Samuel Smith. One made good beer, one made... One makes terrible beer. Hundreds of years ago. Very old breweries. Aroma! Samuel Smith's Pure Brewed Organic Lager. What I've done, I, I know I'm kind of taking my time with this and I do apologise. What I've done, I've, I've reviewed a really generic Canadian lager. Um, a premium, what they call them, premium lagers, don't they? I, I, I reviewed a premium lager just to kind of get a sense of where the big breweries brew the beer, what they do, and then the little guy, the smaller, they're not tiny Samuel Smith, so the smaller guys, how do they produce a lager and how different is it? So far, it's just got a bit of a more of a spicier kind of aroma. You do get the hops coming through. Lemon, maybe a touch of lime, biscuity, bready. Let's dive in, cheers. more refined it's it's got a lot more flavor an awful lot more flavor you get biscuit and bread to begin with it 
it's a super crisp, drinkable, nicely carbonated beer. with some wonderful Saz hops on the back end. I'm gonna take a, maybe a Halatau or a Saz hops, I'm gonna take a guess on. Um, just really kind of crisp and refreshing and then a lovely bitterness on the back end with some kind of bramble, uh, stinging nettle flavor. Stingy nettles, we call them in the UK. It's the cousin of the hop. Mm. I like that. I really like that. I think it's 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 a it's actually a lager that I could see myself drinking in the height of summer. It is mid September. It we have high winds and rain at the moment, um, so I could think of better days that I could could have reviewed this. Maybe outside in the sun. Um, but yeah, it's Samuel Smith's. Uh, they produce some really good beer. I think they're kind of Taddy Porter is a famous one. The Nut Brown Ale. They they do an Imperial Stout as well. Hmm. And now a lager. Well, they've been producing lager for a long time. Rating. I think I I just feel like I've been babbling on a bit in this review. I just don't feel like I've, I've nailed the review properly, but um, I've given the flavours, I've given you a little bit of background between the John Smith and the Samuel Smith brothers, um, the old brewery and Tadcaster. I'm going to sign out with a rating. Here we go. Rating for this beer then, I like it enough to give it... Well, let, let me be honest, that Canadian, the, the largest independent Canadian brewery, um, some of you might guess it. Um, I'd give that beer a 5 out of 10. Um, I think I like this beer enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.